Nice. All right. You Thanks. like wine? I love it. All right. Stay you tuned. know it. Stay tuned. Get some reds for me. <laughs> yes, we do. Good. Become a more informed enophile. Yeah, you don't want to be an enophobe. Coming up next on Eyewitness News Sunday morning, we've got some big wine lovers around here. Get expert ad advice on how to decipher labels on wine bottles. We're coming right back. Thanks for staying with us. One of the most intimidating things to be in the middle of is at a liquor store at a fancy restaurant and have to pick a nice bottle of wine. It can be a little intimidating. But as one person says, it is all in the label. Joining us to help us demystify picking out wine is the president of Vino University, James Dunn. Thanks for coming in and talking Thank to us about this. Thank you I really appreciate it. It can be a little bit intimidating. Absolutely. And the most important thing is you want a good bottle of wine. Absolutely. <laughs> you want to look smart, yes. but you also want to drink well. So what's some good advice you can give us? Well, ultimately, when you look at the label, you really want to demystify it for yourself. You mm -hmm. want to make sure that you're comfortable, confident, whether you're entertaining a client, whether you're with, you're out on a date, you want to look like you know what you're talking about. And you say don't be anxious. No. Take your okay. time, talk to the waiter if you're in, the, in a restaurant, but in a liquor store there are some things you should look for when you're looking at a label. There are some hints that okay. can tell you what you're going to be buying. There's never anything firm. All right, okay. You're making an educated guess. All right, so All take right. me shopping. All right. Let's so look at we'll, some labels. We have some labels here, so let's take a look at them. Uh, this is a great example. This is a Charles Krug wine. Doesn't matter the brand. Don't worry about the brand. Mm -hmm. What I suggest doing is looking at a couple of things. First of all, the alcohol content. Okay. Now, everybody thinks back to college, and they think, all right, cool, the higher alcohol content, that's what I'm going for. That's not the case. When you look at alcohol content, believe it or not, it gives you an indication of whether how well, I should say how dry or how sweet it is. Mm -hmm. All right, if it's a lower alcohol content, meaning 9, 10, 11%, it's going to be a sweeter wine. Oh, okay, right? really? Yeah. Okay. And then if it's this is these are generalities. All everything with wine is a generality. Uh -huh. All right, and then if you're going to go to a higher alcohol content like 14%, 13%, even up to 14 and a half, close to 15%, that's going to be bone dry. All right? And the reason that is is cuz as the the wine ferments, the yeast eats the sugar uh -huh. and the the higher the alcohol content gets. So in other words, the higher the alcohol content, the less sugar in it scientifically. And right. the alcohol content is on the back? It's on the back or on the front label. This That's is an example that it's right on the front. 14, oh, okay. Yeah, it just says 14.1%. Right. I take a look at that. That's going to be a dry Chardonnay. All gotcha. Right. Yeah, and now what do you, now what, you say, what, what are you going to do with that? Well, do you want a sweet, what are you, what are you eating with it? Are you going to have mm -hmm. um, a spicy cuisine? If you're going to have spicy cuisine, you're going to want sweeter wine. Okay. If you're going to have fish, you might want something drier. Okay. All right. What are we looking at on this one? All right, well, great example. Rodney Strong, it says 2002 Reserve. First thing you should note when you're looking at an American wine, when it says Reserve, really doesn't mean much. All right, mm -hmm. that, that is the winemaker's claim. There's no law behind it or anything like that. You have to trust the integrity of the winemaker. In this case, it's a great brand, and when he says Reserve, he means it. But here's the key. Mm -hmm. you see where it says here, Jane's Vineyard? Russian River Valley. Yes. All right. The fact of the matter is when you look at any wine label, as, f as close as you can get geographically in like a funnel, uh -huh. all right, that's where the grapes are from. So in this case, it says Jane's Vineyard right up top. That means okay. those grapes were grown at that particular vineyard. Right. Now, you might say that's not a big deal, but that means... Those it were, is. Th those are, that is a big deal, and you're going to be paying more. Okay. Right? This is an excellent wine. It's a, it's a spectacular wine, a great bang for the buck. And the fact of the matter is you're paying more because you know where those grapes are from. No? James yes. Dunn from Vino University, yes. right? You educate Abs people on this all the time. Absolutely. Thank you for educating us this morning. No problem. Thanks for coming in. I really appreciate it. Happy drinking. Thank you. <laughs> we will be right back.